In the past month, I've tried dropshipping seven different viral TikTok products. One of the biggest critiques about dropshipping is that it's oversaturated, that there's so many people out there that are trying to sell the same products, that it makes it hard to stand out and actually get people onto your website to purchase a product. So I've spent hours and hours building out stores, making videos and ad campaigns for these products. And I think I've come to my own conclusion to the question, is dropshipping too saturated? There were wins and failures. And in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you so you can learn something from my experience and make your experience if you're trying to get into drop shipping easier than mine has. So these are all the products that I've tried to sell in this time. Now, out of these seven products, four of them made sales and only two of them had profitable days. My testing strategy when it comes to finding products is pretty simple. Find videos of a product on TikTok that are blowing up. Find any competitors for the product using TikTok ads library or an ad spy platform. Keep track of the videos and hooks that are working for these sellers and make your own videos and a website that's better than theirs. Each of these products have had multiple videos on TikTok with millions of views, which means they all have potential to be winners. So one of the first products I tested was this mini turbo fan. This is a super viral product. When I started testing this, there were multiple videos of it blowing up in the same week. And I was pretty early on this product, which gave me a lot of confidence that this could work. But the problem with this product is that because it was so new and I was so early on it, I could not find a good price to source it for. The best price I could find it for was $100 and with like a three week shipping time. This makes it really tough to try and sell an impulse buy to someone who's just scrolling on TikTok. In my experience selling a product over 50 to $60 can work, but you have to be really specific about who this product is for and why they need to buy it. If you can't sell someone on why they need this product and how buying it is gonna make their life better, it's gonna make it 10 times harder to turn a viewer into a buyer. And the ads that I ran obviously did not do that well because after over $100 in ad spend, we made zero sales and didn't even get an ad to cart. But since then, I have seen a lot of new sellers coming out with creative marketing angles for this product, like for woodworking or for car detailing. And those videos have done really well. And I'm sure that those stores are making some decent sales. Hey yo! So for you guys watching this, I still think that this is a product that's worth testing. But the main things you have to factor in when you're selling a higher ticket product like this is you have to be intentional with who this product is for and you have to be able to source it for cheaper so you can mark it up for at least double on your website and with a product like this if you're sourcing it for a hundred dollars that means you have to sell it for a minimum of 200 and that's just it's hard so now let's move on to a store that gave me some better results than that this is the product that i've been testing in the past week and so far we've made 12 sales on this store and brought in 600 dollars in revenue now this product is very simple and the marketing angles for it are very simple they're big comfy socks that are a perfect winter gift mainly for girls when i started testing this there were two main competitors out there that both had viral videos and were both using the same hook the videos show a girl putting on the socks showing how comfy they are and then the text on the screen says something like when the socks are made by a woman and not by a man and this one sentence has proven to be a really good hook because it creates controversy may the patriarchy go to hell and when you say something controversial it makes people want to comment on the video both positive and negative things but that doesn't matter because it just drives the engagement up on the video shows it to more people which in the end makes you more sales so i saw that this was working i ordered the product to my house rushed to create my own videos and a store with this website theme that has proven to work for me this is the debutify theme which is a way more customizable theme than the free ones that you get with shopify it's taken my stores from a zero 0.5% conversion rate to a two plus percent conversion rate, which means two out of a hundred people that come to my store buy a product. And for this product page, I kept it very simple. I found good looking pictures. I created a good offer. My main goal when it comes to building out stores is to be as straightforward as possible and to create as much trust in the customer as possible. That's why I like to slap money back guarantees all over the website. I'll say, try it risk free for 30 days and reviews. Reviews are crucial. Now I've gotten some questions on my other videos about how do you get reviews on your store? If you haven't even made a sale yet. I use this app on the Shopify app store called Ali Reviews. With this app, you can import reviews directly from the AliExpress and Amazon listings from the suppliers that are already selling this product and have real customer reviews. So usually what I'll do is I'll find an AliExpress listing of the product and I'll use Google Lens to search for all the photos on the internet of this product. And by doing this, you get dozens of AliExpress and Amazon listings. You copy those links into Ali Reviews and they will automatically import into your store. Now, a couple months ago, a lot of these apps would let you directly edit your reviews so you could like literally change the text and the photo reviews so it's like fully customizable since then shopify seems like it doesn't let you do that anymore so what i do is i will go through the best picture reviews i can find and i'll pin them to the top of the review section on the store so when customers are looking through your reviews they don't just see a bunch of broken english translations from aliexpress customers all over the world from there i'll customize all the colors and fonts to make it match the rest of my product page i usually just use the carousel which shows the products one after another but there's different ways 
ways that you can show the reviews on your page and it just makes your store look that much more legit than just a website that was made in an hour and that's literally how long my product pages take now i used to spend hours and hours making these out uh, and i realized that's a waste of time by using chat gpt for your product descriptions finding good pictures and putting reviews on your store, you're pretty much done. If you guys wanna use Alley reviews on your stores, I'll have a link in the description where you guys can get 10% off. Okay, so now for my ad strategy, when it comes to testing a product out, I always will test three to five creatives and I'll spend about 80 to $100 to test if a product is still worth running or not. So with this product, I did exactly that. I tested a couple of other videos as well, but just like I thought, the controversial video did the best and that's a majority of where the sales came from. So it looked like it was starting out pretty good. Day one, we did $105. On day two, we did $165. Day three, we did $70. At this point, I was getting a little bit worried because I was still spending the same amount in ads, but they were not performing as well. On day four, we made $0 in sales. Day five, made another $130. Um, and then from there, we made a couple more sales, but the ads just started to die out and the costs got too expensive to the point that I was spending more on ads towards the end than I was making in return. Now, there's probably a couple of reasons why this happened, but I think the main one is, is that the same week that I started running this product i think a bunch of other drop shippers started getting onto it as well and there was like 10 other accounts that i found that were running the exact same product and making the exact same videos with that same hook that was working for me and that's probably a big part of why the ad started to skyrocket so quickly now probably some other drop shippers would say that at this point you should probably just start testing a bunch of different creatives and you'll find that success again uh, but i did i tested 10 different videos with very similar you know ad structure tried different controversial hooks and uh, none of it it worked so that's the best performing store out of the seven products that i tested you know it's not the results that you see on youtube like some of these crazy guys doing you know 50k a month or whatever um but i try to be real on this channel show you exactly my process and the results like i said in the beginning of this video i did have other products that made sales as well i tried dipping my toes into uh the lingerie niche a little bit i tried selling these uh these bras and custom uh women's undies and this store did do 144 dollars in revenue but unfortunately this store had different problems than the other one um i kept getting my ads shut down it looks like tiktok has become way more strict with their ad policies recently because all of the creatives that i used would think that there was a naked girl in the videos and it would not approve any of my ads except for one that made the 144 dollars in revenue and that one died out pretty quick as well and i only had so many creatives to work with because i was getting them from online you know didn't have the time to ship the products to my house and also how am I going to make women's lingerie content? If I were to keep running this product, which uh, if you guys are watching this video and you're looking for a product, it's kind of weird product to try, but I would actually recommend giving this a shot because the custom niche is huge, especially right now around Christmas time. So the best way to advertise these types of products is definitely through UGC content, where you have a person actually trying on your product and then talking about why they love it so much. And the place that I would go for something like that is a service like Viral Ecom Ads. I've had Noah, who is an owner of it on the channel before, and he and his team really know what they're doing when it comes to this stuff. They'll look for all the content of your product out there and then make you high quality creatives that you can test on TikTok and on Facebook and they have UGC packages where they will hire an influencer to make videos of your product for you that way you don't have to order the product to your house and then film and edit all of your ads and if you're like me and you're testing multiple stores a month they have VIP packages that are really affordable $15 for four ad variations and you get them within 24 hours and if you guys want to try it out, I'll have a link in the description where you can get 10% off. So in the end, the revenue on all of the stores was $780. But who cares about revenue? You want to see the profit. So let's look at that. So taking a look at my true profit account for the Cozy Socks product, you can see our total revenue was $636 from 15 orders. But our total cost of goods and ads were $819, which leaves us with a net profit of minus $183. Now, if you guys can take any advice from this video, I would say to prioritize profit from the very beginning. When you aren't keeping track of your ad spend and your cost of goods, you can get really emotional and start to see that you're making sales and get all excited, but the whole time you're just losing money. And that's exactly what happened with this store. As you can see in the very beginning, we had a good start. We made $25 profit, $23 profit. Um, but then from there, that's when the ads started to perform a lot worse. And you know, we were just losing money or barely breaking even. So yeah, I'd highly recommend using this app as soon as you start your Shopify stores, connect your TikTok and your Facebook ad accounts. So it will calculate in real time 
time? How much are you spending on ads? What is your revenue and are you in the profit? And when you look at it like this, all laid out in front of you, it makes it a lot easier to not become emotional and think just because you're making sales that you know, you're the next uh, gym shark. So do I think dropshipping is oversaturated going into 2024? Kind of. There's obviously still a huge market for buyers out there on these platforms like TikTok. But if you actually want to get to the point where you're profitable with this business model, especially in the long term, you have to understand the game. There are tens and thousands of people out there that are spending all day, every day, looking for the products that are working right now. And as soon as you have something that's working, you can expect to have a ton of drop shippers that are going to steal your content, steal your ad copy, steal your website. From my experience, you can't just make a couple of videos and then have one ad that really pops off for you and then you make 200 grand off that one video i'm sure it's happened and it still will happen um, but it seems like today the real way that you find success with this business is to make a ton of videos test new things all the time and not be scared to lose money if you guys got anything out of this video leave your boy a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace